Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. Um, I don't know why this is like the fourth time I've tried to do this voiceover. I have good days and bad days with the voiceovers and today is clearly a bad day. <laughs> right, the colours I'm going to be using are Nao Nails Pure Black and Mega White. I thought I would be using Honeycomb from Team Gorgeous but I don't use that one in the end. But I do use Clear Candy from Team Gorgeous. The glitters I'm using are as always from Nail Sugar. The first one I'm using is called Voodoo. This is part of the Fright Night collection, which is the new Halloween bundle for this year. I love this, look at this. Oh, I love it, love it, love it. This is great for Halloween. The other one is Rockabilly Black, which is also in the Fright Night collection. So it's just black with some, like lots of color in it. It's quite a pretty one actually. Um, <clears throat> right, the index, nope, what is it, what is it, what is it, this is the ring finger, this one, I have to remember what they're each of those bloody, what are they called, oh my god, shall I just start, no, I'm not starting this again, <laughs> I have to remember what each of the fingers are called, because I get confused sometimes, right, the index, no, it's not the index finger, the ring finger, I'm just going to make it a completely white nail, because this is the nail that I'm going to paint Pennywise onto, so I'm just going to use the acrylic to create the, the nail. I don't cap this one, I don't think. Or actually, I might put a little bit of white on it. I can't remember what I do. Not white, clear on it. Um, I can't remember. The, the thumbnail, I am putting down a black base. This nail, we're going to use the Rockabilly Black on. Um, you'll see how nice it is in a minute. I'm going to go in with a cuticle bead. Then um, if the acrylic is still wet you can just go straight in. If you dip your wet brush into your glitter um, you can tap it onto the wet acrylic but by the time I had put my glitter on it had dried a little bit or it started to set so I dipped my brush um, well I got a small bead of wet clear acrylic and dipped it into my glitter and then spread it over the thumbnail the middle finger again I'm putting a black base down um, I'm gonna do this nail uh, it's gonna be a full nail of the voodoo glitter because it's so pretty I just felt like it needed a whole nail of the glitter so because this glitter was still wet when I went to put the glitter on I just wet my brush with the monomer and I dipped it into the voodoo glitter and I put it on the nail that way I'll show you what this looks like in a minute before it's capped so so nice love it um the ring nope oh why am i getting them completely confused the pinky finger i am putting a black base on um i just do i didn't know what, at the time when i was doing the nails i didn't know what i wanted to do with this nail but i thought i would put a black base on um and then decide um, I'm also going to put the black base down onto the index finger. The index finger is going to be a, just a completely black nail with no glitter. Um, but because I am running out of black, I don't know if the black is a strength powder. It might be. Uh, but I, I, don't, I don't know actually. Uh, but because I'm running out of black, I just put a black base on and then I use the clear acrylic to create the shape and everything. Um, for the index finger. Um, back to the pinky, I put a little bit of rockabilly black at the cuticle and just done a little glitter fade. Um, so now they're ready to cap in clear acrylic. So once I've done that, I always file and buff off the camera because I find that really boring. I kept the nails the stiletto shape nice and sharp um, on the the, I was going to say the thumb. What is wrong with me? <laughs> On the ring finger, I'm just going to go over with some velvet matte because I quite like to, to draw on, on top of velvet matte for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. 
um, and I'll cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. But I'm going to use my artisan gel paints to create the freehand art on these nails. Um, I'm not doing Pennywise yet, I'll let you know when I'm doing Pennywise, <clears throat> um, just so that you're <laughs> prepared. Uh, I'm just on this index finger, I'm just going to paint on the words, um, the letters I and T for it, obviously. Um, it doesn't have to be very neat, but I do want the bottom of the letters to go into a point. So like at the top, they're thicker than the bottom. You'll see what I mean in a second. So this bit here is thick and then it goes into a point. So you just gradually lift your brush up to create a thinner line there. So that will be cured for 60 seconds. On the, what's this one, the thumb? Why is it frozen? What's happened? That was weird. Right, on the thumb, I am going to be doing a, a balloon. Because, I don't know why, there's a balloon in the film, isn't there? Do you know what, it's been absolutely ages since I've seen the first It film. And I haven't watched the remake yet the 2017 remake. I really, 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 really want to watch it, but I can't watch films at night time. Uh, well, I, no, I can't watch horror films at night time because I, if it's like just before bedtime, I just, I just know I won't sleep or I have nightmares and it just, I just can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. So if I watch a horror film, I have to watch it during the day because usually by bedtime I have forgotten it unless it's oh my god there was one film that really messed up my head it was called human centipede i would not recommend that film i mean it was it was it, oh my god it was something else i couldn't watch the second one or the third one Ugh. that's one film that really bothered me anyway let's carry on um i have mixed a bit of the red artisan gel paint with some black to make a deeper red because i wanted to add some shade in um, when I have put the deeper colour where I want it on the balloon, I then take some of the, the same deep red and I'll mix it with a little bit of top coat and then I will use it to blend the, I'll show you in a minute. So I'm now just sort of like brushing the colour across and you're probably thinking what is she doing but now I've mixed it with some top coat and I'm just going to sort of like rub my brush around and it will just kind of blend the colours in I've slowed it down in, in a minute before I cure it I've slowed it down so you can just see here so look, it's it's not too bad that will cure for 60 seconds and then on the uh, pinky finger I decided to do some blood drips so I'm going to start by doing one center drip I'm going to put red all the way around the cuticle um, and then we're gonna have two drips on each side And then where the drips meet the, the cuticle area, you're going to want to make, make like an arch. I'll show you in a minute what I mean. So I'm going to put another drip on the right there. So that, that bit there, you want to arch that across. I'm going to do it another little drip in between the other drips and arch it round. And I'm going to do this, the same this side and arch them round. There we go, so it just looks better like that. It would look silly if, yeah, I think it would look a bit daft. So again, that cures for 60 seconds. I'm gonna put some string on the balloon. This is just a white, using just the white artisan gel paint. There we go. 
so they are now ready to top coat. So I'm going to use my CBD tempered top coat. I really wish I'd left the whole set matte. I think they would have looked a lot nicer matte. But just kept that middle finger glossy with the glitter, like the, the voodoo glitter. Look, bloody fluff. I was trying to get it out. <laughs> See, this index finger I think would have looked nicer matte finished. I mean, it doesn't look too bad. I do like, I still like it glossy, but I think it would have probably looked. I think you'd be able to see more detail if it was matte finished. This glitter is gorgeous. It reminds me a little bit of the Ladybird glitter that Nail Sugar does as well, but the Ladybird glitter is more, more red. There we are. That was top coat and time done. So this is what the set looks like before I do Pennywise. I will cure those in the lamp for 60 seconds. So I had got a picture of um, the Bill Skarsgård version of Pennywise, the, the new Pennywise, um, and I've got it on my iPad in front of me to do this. I, I've sped it up quite a lot because Again, I'm not. Oh, I'm in, in fact, I'll probably do the voiceover and then speed it up in parts again because I'm not. I don't know how to explain how I'm doing it. The only the only thing I would say is that when I do them, I always start with the eyes. I don't know why. I just find it easier to start with the eyes and then work out the rest of the face after that. Um. I cure as I go, like I'll do a part and then if I'm happy with how it looks I'll cure it. Also um, I have taken some bristles out of my brush, I'm using my Nail Kami 8mm detailing brush. Uh, Scarlet set in Scarlet Centers Live. She said about she'd um, adapted her brush by taking some bristles out to make it finer. Well, I'd done that as well after I'd I'd watched her live, and I find it so much easier now to do more detailed lines with it. If you're worried about messing it up, though, don't do it. <laughs> I've got to admit, I wasn't sure quite how many bristles to take out, but. I think if you just take a few, you know, just don't don't go too mad too quickly, um, kind of thing. I also have got, uh, you can't see it obviously, but I have a little mirror disc thing which I use as my palette, and I have I mix the yellow and I've mixed the red and you can mix the colors of the artisan gel paints together to create other shades um, for example I mixed a yellow with what did I mix it with I mixed it with the brown I think to create the yellow eyes and then I mixed it again after I'd done the eyes, I mixed that mustardy yellow that I'd created to do the eyes with the white to make a paler yellow to do his teeth because his teeth look look a bit yellowy, but they weren't as yellow as his eyes. I'm just sketching out the nose. And then I move on to the mouth. I 
so I think when I get to that point I I cure it for 30 seconds um, and then I move on to the like the red stripes on his face um, he has got like where he smiles he's got his little the little his cheeks come out a little bit so obviously the the red lines curve around a little bit I really enjoy doing freehand but I find it quite difficult to do the voiceover on them because I just feel <laughs> like I don't really know what to say. So I fill the mouth in with the red as it is straight from the pot and then I will use the, the red that I mixed up to do the shading on the balloon. I use that to add shading to the mouth. And I think then I might even add a little bit more, I think I might add it, some brown to it. I can't remember, it's either brown or, I was worried black would be too harsh. So I'm pretty sure I used the brown um, to create some shading in the mouth. So I cure that there and then, yeah, so this is the, this is the color that I used for the balloon. Because his lips are quite dark on the outside and then they get kind of more ready on, on the inside from what I can remember. <laughs> so now I'm going to do the, the eyes in that mustardy colour that I'd made up. Has any of, have any of you watched the new film, the newer It film? What did you think of it? Which one did you prefer? Did you prefer the, the older one or do you prefer the remake? I really like Bill Skarsgård. I, he's, he was in, um, what was that thing I watched? Uh, that he's in that TV series that I can't remember the name. Where he's a vampire and his friend Peter's a werewolf. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure some of you all know. <laughs> I'm sure you'll tell me. Oh my god, my brain. Hemlock Grove. That was it. Yeah. Oh, it was really. I really. I really enjoyed that. But I didn't realise he. You know, um, Eric Northman from. Oh my god, from True Blood is his brother. But I think um, Bill Scars. No, what's the I can't remember his brother's name but the one that plays Eric Northman in True Blood is the more attractive one of the two in my opinion <laughs> anyway enough about them um I kind of I don't know what I'd done there I was trying to add a bit of shade in but the color that I made was way too I hadn't mixed it enough um so I ended up having to take some of that color off with my brush um and then I mixed the the black a little bit more with some top coat to uh, dilute the colour a bit more. I had to do that off camera because I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it up close. Um, so I so I've got some black which I have mixed with the top coat, and I was just using that to try and create some shading. I don't think I've done the best job, but. Um, he also had like the, I can't remember what you call them, those things that clowns have around their necks. Um, I should have added that in, but I didn't. Don't know why. And he's got like, like a crack, he's got little cracks on the top of his head. Oh yeah, shading down the nose. Yes, I was putting the cracks on here. You couldn't see them very well in the, in the photo that I had, but I just, I Googled so many images of him that I kind of just knew they were there. <laughs> uh, 
and then I've cured that I think and I'm going in to create the teeth don't worry if the teeth aren't perfect because um, if you're doing this um, we do go over with uh, some more of that red to create like the gap So I'm just going to go over the top and then down the centre of the teeth. You can just see, I'm just in shot there. Um, and then I think that is all I've done. Um, I cure him for 60 seconds. Get a hair on him. Um, I'm going to go back over the top with the velvet matte top coat. So that's what he would look like if he was shiny, but I'll show you him matte. So this is the finished set. I hope you've liked this. I really, 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 really like this set. This is my first Halloween set. I want to do some. I want to use some glow in the dark pigment to do some some nails as well for Halloween. So let me know if you liked it. Ooh um, don't forget to leave me a like if you did and also if you haven't do consider subscribing and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!